Hi. Today I'm going to use PHP to consume a web service. <clears throat> the web service I'm going to consume is called Zipopotamus. When I take a look at Postman, I pass the URL into Zipopotamus, which is a free API that allows you to look up postal codes for a large number of countries. <clears throat> I've got my get string, and you see I'm using my zip code 15204. When I send that, I get back the information about where I am. So I'm clearly Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There's my lat long, US. I want to pull this up in Python. So I'm going to go to my Git bash, and I already have my environment created. I'm going to install requests. So request is install request I need to connect to a web service. So I see my URL. I'm going to use that shortly in my code. In Visual Studio Code, I'm going to open that workspace, create a new file, Make sure it's in the right place, and it is. So create a file called video.py. Now I'm going to create a couple of imports. Import requests. This will allow me to do pull the request from the web. Import JSON is going to allow me to pull information out of the response I get. Import sys. Create a couple variables. URL is going to be this URL from Postman. Which, if you're curious where I pulled that from, I got it from zipopotamus.us. That's the path. Whatever API you wish to pull, you will be able to find that on the website. So if I go to zipopotam.us, it gives me an example of how to set this up. And this is where I pulled it from. Every API will give you an example of how to pull it up. I'm now going to pull the information. Pretty straightforward, pretty variable. Requests comes from here, which I already installed. This will pull back the information from this particular endpoint and store it into a variable called response. Let's see for right now what we got back. Let's just do a quick run on that. Let's see right there. Run it. And I get back 200. 200, of course, means it's okay. So I need to do some more work with this, but I know it worked. If I got back something else, I'd know there'd be a problem. So I'm just going to comment this out. So I'm up, I'm running. I now need to make sure it comes in. So if I get back 200, give them a nice little output saying, hey, it's good. That should be lowercase, sorry. And then I need to convert it from just a request form to JSON. JSON, of course, is JavaScript object notation. It's how most APIs communicate. We're going to use the method function or member function of response called JSON, which converts it over. 
and then just in case it fails so that's my document this line right here gets the information from the website this line converts it into JSON and this just dumps it to the screen run it and boom you see I get the same stuff back 15204 United States US Pittsburgh lat long Pennsylvania etc so it's working now I need to pull information out of there there are much better ways I'm about to do it I'm gonna do a nice quick simple way to pull this off so up inside here I'm gonna create variables for everything I pull out of there zip JSON is now a JSON file which means it's essentially a, an associative array I can search by the fields that come back. So when I look at my nicely readable output in Postman, I see I have country, country abbreviation, places, place name, etc. I'm going to pull back the country. Print. And then again, test, make sure it works. There it is, pull back United States. I could hide this vomit output if I want now because I know I'm pulling stuff out so I will do that I'll hide that so that was an easy one country postcode country abbreviation will all work the same places won't places is a nested JSON so we need to see how to pull out nested JSON actually becomes pretty straightforward places is an array so I'm going to say places and then whichever entry inside of places 0 1 2 3 or 5 and then the field name so this places only has one entry so it'll be a 0 and then place name will pull out the name Pittsburgh Places goes into the places array inside of this. And this line by itself will just simply pull out the array and put it in the city. But I want the first entry in the list. If you had an array of multiple entries, you'd walk through it using a for each loop. Save it. Run it, and I pull back United States and Pittsburgh. If you do something silly, like spell place name wrong, Python will not be happy. It says here, place nulla. If you forget the zero, this will work if there's not an array symbol there, and I can see the array symbol because of that square. So that square box wasn't there the line of code I just wore, would have worked but now I get another nice fun arrow list indices must be integers or slices not stir it's yellow and actually because there's no zero here because that's an array this has to be box zero all right so this is how to do it in Python if you want to do this in Java C sharp C++ it's essentially the same thing Use the request tool to pull the request. Check to make sure it doesn't fail. Do something with it. That do something with it is the hard part, of course, because requesting or consuming a web source is not a challenge. It's just a matter of doing some of the stuff you pull back and parsing through the JSON. All right, I'm done. You guys are good.